What's going on guys, it's David here, and today I've got a video bringing to you the unboxing of the Advanced Formula Chill Pill from Strike Movement. And before we go any further in today's video, if you enjoyed today's content, please make sure to hit that like button as well as that subscribe button, because that lets me know I'm creating the kind of content that you guys want to see. Now for all of you OG CrossFitters out there, you know that Strike Move has been around for quite some time. They've been a brand that has kind of been in the shadows um, of these other brands like Innovate and Reebok. They've been like the little brother in terms of CrossFit shoes, uh, but they always have had a very heavy focus on minimalist style training apparel and shoes. Now in terms of having a roster of athletes, um, they don't really have a whole bunch of um, I guess high level athletes um, as far as like notable people that have trained in um, uh, the chill pill or strike movement uh, shoes uh, I know Lauren Gilbrick from the owner of Deuce Gym he's a pretty heavy um, user of the chill pills uh, Carl Paoli um, he's also a pretty big advocate I think he might also be a brand ambassador I know here in SF, he actually owned the SF or operated the SF Strike Movement store before they closed it down. Um, and then also Nikki Rinker uh, last year was training here and there in the Chill Pill shoes. So if that says anything, these shoes must be able to withstand some sort of training as far as heavy weight as well as running. Uh, for each of those individuals has their specific domain with Carl Paoli focused really more on like um, gymnastics and things of that nature. Nick Yurinker being a very um, strong uh, weightlifter that is a crossfitter or a very strong weightlifting crossfitter uh, to say the least. And Gre Lauren Gre Gilbert has, is kind of like all the above in terms of being a well-rounded athlete. Now, I've always kind of really appreciated the design focus with a lot of these strike movement shoes. I think one thing that they hit the nail on the head with regards to their products is that they are, are just really well designed. I love how simple they are in terms of making classic trainers um, and their stuff just looks just really good but I never really pulled the trigger on their shoes just because of the fact that there's all these other shoes that are providing in my opinion a better experience in terms of having a all around crossfitting shoe. And as some of you may already know, the Chill Pill has actually been out for quite some time, but with this model, it is an upgraded version to the Chill Pill that features some more patterns, uh, redesigned midsole, as well as adding anti-microbacterial uh, lining to the upper as well as the inner lining uh, to keep your feet fresh. Now to get into specifics, uh, there are two chill pills that have been released or that were released last week. Uh, the one that I purchased was the Phantom Ripstop and then there's also the Phantom Knit. Uh, the biggest selling point with the Phantom Ripstop is that the toe panel actually has um, uses Ripstop, which is a material that's very lightweight but is also extremely durable. Um, I think this is a material that you would find is, is going to last extremely long. It's a, it's a material that you would typically see on things like backpacks and stuff like that. Uh, for example, like a Jansport backpack, those backpacks last for an extremely long time, which is why they have like really good warranties on those backpacks because the Ripstop material it's just it's 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 more than you can ask for as far as durability um, as well as flexibility another big highlight on the chill pill advanced formula is the redesigned menstrual that's supposed to help promote more balanced movement particularly in movements like weight lifting uh, which uh, I guess with this shoe being a, a very flat shoe it's supposed to kind of promote that uh, for I guess like a holistic level. Another big highlight on the shoe is that the insoles for the shoe actually have been made from a rubber compound that's supposed to help with improved grip I guess as you're running and as you're moving so it doesn't feel like your foot is moving around because sometimes with insoles uh, the more they get worn down your foot will actually slide around and the insole will slide around a little bit so the rubber on the insole for the uh, advanced formula chill pill will kind of help 
reduce that over time. One thing that I'm actually looking for to this shoe is the way that it's designed with the forefront of the shoe. It's actually supposed to be a little bit wider to help with, um, I guess you could say breathability and just overall comfort, especially for those of you guys that are out there that have wide feet. You know that uh, if you wear Metcons, uh, your feet kind of start to cramp after a little bit of time. Um, and that's something that I think the Nano 8 addresses really well. And this shoe is also supposed to address that really well. In terms of heel height, this shoe is supposed to have a 3.9 millimeter heel to toe drop. And to be quite honest, that's not outside of the ballpark in regards to what other shoe manufacturers um, have implemented in their shoes. Both the Nano 8 as well as the Metcon 4 both have uh, four millimeter uh, heel to toe drop um, offsets. So uh, I wouldn't really expect in terms of function um, or performance to some degree, anything different than what you find on those shoes. Last but not least, this shoe is extremely, extremely light. Um, when you hold it in your hand, it's just like, it's like you're holding a cloud. Um, I think what they say on the site is that the shoe at around, um, size nine it's supposed to weigh about 7.5 ounces so i would assume that for myself i wear size 10 it's going to be around there maybe eight eight point five 8.5 ounces in terms of weight. Some other things that I really like about the shoe as far as unboxing, the experience is just really, really good. I think um, they made a, a huge effort in regards to um, making sure that when you get your shoes, they're um, in good working, ready to go order. Um, the shoe had a insert in it that um, actually helped with the integrity of the shoe. So in regards to like, let's say for example, if the box was stepped on, or smash or something like that to some degree the shoe would stay intact as far as um, not folding over on one side or not getting um, crumpled or anything like that which isn't really a big issue but it's nice that they put those inserts in there um, to keep the um, shell of the shoe um, as nice as possible another nice thing about this shoe is they also included an extra pair of laces so you got the white laces that come standard as well as a pair of black laces for those of you that like to keep things uh, murdered out all in all i'm really looking forward to testing out the shoe um, i'm going to be doing a review for you guys i think what i'm going to do is from moving forward from now on instead of doing like uh, an unboxing and then uh, a one week review. I wanna really take some time to figure out what kind of things I like about the shoe and what kind of things I don't like about the shoe on a little bit more of a longer term basis. So um, that way I can give you guys actual experience of what it's like to use these shoes. Um, I know some of you guys might have already bought the shoe, but hopefully based off of what I share with you guys in these unboxings, that'll give you guys enough information to decide whether or not this is something you should actually waste your money on. I do think that one of the downsides to this shoes is the, the fact that it doesn't have uh, protection uh, for rope climbs. Uh, apparently they're supposed to be the cross platform uh, protection that's on, I think it's the interval model of shoe that they make. Um, they don't include that on the chill pill, which it's kind of weird to be making a CrossFit shoe that doesn't really provide all of the protections um, and that somebody would want in a shoe. Um, it's it's almost like forcing or forcing an upsell on people to like purchase the next model up, as opposed to like you look at shoes like for example. Um, Nike, uh, they have the Metcon 4, that has rope protection. They have the DSX Flyknit, that has rope protection. Uh, the F Nike Free Metcon, that has rope protection. And so uh, I think with a shoe, especially if you're trying to sell a CrossFit shoe, there's, there's some things that you need to have on the shoe as much as you want to try to um, push that minimalist style and idea, it's nice. But uh, as a CrossFitter, I need a shoe that has rope protection because I'm going to be doing workouts with rope protection. And so if I use your shoe to do rope climbs and the shoe rips after a certain number of times because there is no rope protection, it's kind of a waste of money for me. So that's a big um, thumbs down for me in regards to um, the design of the shoe. But everything else, I really like how classic it is. Um, I like how they've stuck to their roots in regards to um, not trying to fix something that really isn't broken. And that's something that um, I've been kind of 
upset about with these other shoe manufacturers, particularly um, Reebok as well as Nike. I understand that over time you develop new technologies and you want to implement those technologies in the design of your shoe. But again, it's nice to have something that looks timeless. And I think that's something that the Chill Pill AF has going for it like all of their shoes i think particularly this chill pill in general just it's a timeless shoe um it looks classic it's almost it almost looks like a uh, vans era skate shoe which is something that i like because i grew up skateboarding so it's something that kind of sits in that vein for me so um that's those are the kind of things that i'm having going forward into testing out the shoe um like i said guys there's going to be a full um wear test that i will break down all the different aspects of things i liked and i didn't like but let me know guys down below have you guys used this shoe before what did you like when did you, what didn't you like why didn't you buy this shoe what shoe guy are you guys wearing right now i would love to hear what your guys's thoughts are on the chill pill af guys with that as always may your barbells be heavy and i hope 19.2 treats you better than 19.1 i'll catch you guys in the next video